making your sound better. Okay, so we are now down with our last FL Studio Pro Tip video where I, where I am going to share some of my tips on sound design. So this may include creating your own build-up snare, creating your own white noise effects. So now let's start with our build-up snare. So there are two ways in creating a build-up snare here. One is by the use of MIDI here on the play uh, here on the channel rack on the piano roll, and the other one is on the uh, playlist. But I'll just teach you how you can create it the easiest way, right? So let's go for the playlist because this one is the easiest so far. So let's start by looking for a good sounding snare because this. Uh, this trick won't be possible without a snare, so let's look for one. I'm thinking about something that has more on the top end, right? How about this? So let's drag it on our playlist. Play this quarterly. And let's double the time for the next bar. Right there. And do the same thing double the time for the next bar oops until the fourth one because dance music usually is fourth fourth in time signature so again let's double the time for the fourth and probably the final one right here so it should sound like this Okay, so let's decrease the tempo like a little bit, maybe 135 is good. So again, so what we can do right now is we can automate the pitch. So let's set this range, pitch range to 12 semitones and right click this, create an automation clip. So from zero, here it is now. So let's delete the tail because, oops, oops, okay. There you go, there's our build up snare right there. So let's try playing it. As you can see, the more that we go further along with our build up snare, the, the duration starts to decrease right okay. so what we can do with that is we can activate the real real-time stretching so go for the tools macros and switch all audio clips to real-time stretching and okay so there you go the duration of the clips will remain the same There you go. So now let's create our own white noise effects. So let's grab our trusted 3X oscillator because this one is the go-to for creating white noise effects here in FL. Plus it saves a lot of CPU power. So let's just go for this for now. So let's assign this to insert two. Let's create a clip. Right there, we have four bars for our build up snare, so we have four bars also for our pattern one for the uh, for the white noise effects. So, without the filter, it would sound like this. But if we add some kind of a phase, I don't know, the filter, let's say the fruity love filter, let's automate the cutoff frequency, then it would sound like this. There you go. We can also create some down sweeps using sub bass. So again, another 3x oscillator. There you go. And let's activate this. This one is correct, by the way. So let's snap, let's route this 3x oscillator, our sub bass to insert number three. And let's create another pattern. So 
How about this? Oh no, let's try some square waves. How about this? Mm -hmm. This is some basic sign right here. So. No, not that. Maybe C is good. Okay, so let's play it out. Oops. Okay, so let's add our note. Right there. So what we can do is we can add it here. And let's try playing it. Song mode. So again automate the pitch but this time we will automate it down not up so let's adjust the frequency range to 12 semitones automate this create an automation clip and mute this and from there to here should be down okay let's try hearing it first because i don't know how it sounds i have no idea maybe it should be faster There you go. You can also add some articulation on your white noise, by the way. So here we have our white noise here on insert two. We can add grow speed. Where's grow speed? There you go. So maybe we can use some preset. How about this? This sounds good. So let's play it along with the build-up snare. There you go. And maybe we can accompany this with a kick. Boom. So it would sound more explosive. Right? So let's look for... A big kick. Maybe we can add this kick here and put a reverb here. So reverb, maybe a big reverb, reverb would be good. Maybe a fruity convolver. There you go. And I'll just EQ this out. Oh no, filter. Let's cut up the high end. So if, you, if I play it along with the down sweep sub bass, I need to make this one louder, so. So together it would sound like this. There you go. The second sound design tip that I want to discuss and share with you right now are the four ways that you can layer synths inside FL Studio. So right now we have these four sounds right here. We have this evolution. This one is a lead sound from Harmless. We have mallets also from Harmless. Right now we're using Apple Studio stock plugins in order for us to save some CPU power. We have some Xylophonic FG, also from Harmless. And a built-in Grand Piano plugin from FL DirectX. So what we need to do is we need to come up with a good sounding chord progression, right? In this case, I already saved something for this demonstration. So what I can do is I can grab it from the file open score and we have this FL Studio loop right here so what I can do right now is I can just copy this one and paste this one on the other instrument so I'll just select this instrument control C V C V oops control C control V cop copy and paste now it sounds like this I'll just Lower the volume because this will sound loud. 
because there's four sounds playing together at once. If I solo the first one, the second one, the third, and the fourth one is the piano. So that's the first method. The second method is you can actually disseminate them inside the piano, or inside the playlist rather. So what I can do is I can drag the pattern here on the playlist and I will um, split them by channel here on the pattern settings. So split by channel. Now what I can do is I can disseminate them from track to track. So we have the MIDI for the mallets here. And the fourth one right here on track number four, we have the xylophonic FG in the grand piano. So that's how it is. You can now edit them individually. So the, fourth, uh, the third method on how to layer synths is by the use of this plugin called um, Layer. So let's just delete all of the existing patterns for now. Oops, delete, okay, delete, okay, delete, and okay. So what we can do is we can navigate to that um, plugin. So we'll go on this plus button here. Then we'll find it inside misc i think yes inside misc this plugin here right here it's named layer so what i can do is i can navigate to the window of this layer plugin and i can select all the all the instruments that i want to layer to so we have four instruments right here and i can just click this set children so now i can just play all of this four instruments using this plugin right here I'm with my MIDI keyboard, so. so so what I can do now is I can program my MIDI here. In this case, I already have something loaded. So open score. There you go. Oops, drag it here. I can choose to mute some part of it. So the fourth one would be the most modular way of layering synths. So let's delete all of these elements for now. We have this plugin called um, Patcher right here. So what it does is, is you can program things here. You can see it visually. So for example, we, we're going to add a piano plugin. Hmm. Still loading right there. So I can play it here. I can also add more instruments. Let's say add plugin, instruments, synth default let's go with the harmless again and i can just route this one to fl studio now they are playing simultaneously i can add as many synths as i want so the last one that i want to add is the 3x oscillator oops not supported in patcher okay so let's go with the other ones so synth, default, maybe let's go with citrus. I love citrus. One good thing with Patcher is that you can apply an effect. Let's say plugin. We have an effect right here, effects. So if I want to add reverb for all of them, I can just navigate to the delay, delay and reverb and just add a fruity reverb to right here. So. I'll just route them here under reverb and route this reverb on FL Studio. Now it would sound like this. This patch right here is quite useful, especially if you're performing live. If you have a huge gig 
and you can actually control this if you have an external controller in this case i have my external controller right here but i just don't have the ex the extra knobs i only have 25 keys so so if i program i mean if i load up my save score here open score fl studio loop then it would sound like this <laughs> There you go. Those are the four ways or methods that you can layer synths inside FL Studio. I highly suggest that you try it out for yourself so you can figure out which method is the best for you.